This is uh, Going Home by the Fulbright Company. Um, just gonna play for a little bit, maybe go through like a room or two. Resume. found two journal entries so far, haven't we? Yep. At the new house, the first day of school. Apparently this is some kind of murder house. It's kind of scary. Um, oops. Uh, the Killing of JFK, Benjamin Alden. You see the movie, you discover the truth. Killing of JFK, Benjamin Allman. Uh, a superb work of speculation <laughs> plotted with amazing skill and showing a level of magnetic artistry not usually present in such. Yikes. I'm trying to be entertained. Okay. Um, present in such academic pieces and travel. Magnetic artistry, not usually. A thrilling theory. I couldn't put this book down, S. O'Reilly. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. Wonderful. Somebody's a conspiracy uh, buff. Uh, Pioneer CD, laser compact disc, something visual, something. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD slash CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular... Uh, so we wrote a review for a, um, a thing. Oops. Uh, let's see if what's going on with that glass. But it's unbreakable. Just like me. Yikes! Oh my god. Why is lightning so scary? Take that highlighter. Ah! It's the chair. There's a ghost in the chair. Stop it, chair. Stop it. Bad chair. Open drawer. He hates that stupid chair. That. Open it all the way. How come I opened it before? Open, open the drawer. There we go. No, wait, don't. There we go. Focus. No. I don't think I can read that. It's just a thing. I don't know, do I have to? The lights on. Okay. Okay, close it. Just a bunch of messy paper. Can I get the pen? Grab the pen. Take that pen. Aha! Yeah. Grab for your inviter. No, wait, I want to look at that. Mm, yeah, it's just an empty three room. Oh, it has something in it. Open it, you fool. Open the binder. Yeah, whatever. It's probably just separators in there. It's too scary in here. Okay, um, have I looked? I have a look in here. Right um, enter a combination? No! No lightning. 
Lightning shouldn't uh, strike when I look at the combination. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars twinkling as if the, he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though that place was a million miles away, no. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station, Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Somebody's a writer. I wonder if this is Sam, or one, one of our parents. Or, yeah. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet. That's a thing? <laughs> vomited onto his feet, okay. His bare feet. Oh, he's vomited onto his feet. Right, of course, he vomited onto his bare feet. He vomited onto them. That makes sense. I thought he, like, vomited and then flew onto his feet. He stared for a moment, processing his sick flecked toenails. <laughs> Scanning up his bare shins, bare knees, he was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. <laughs> then fabric strained it the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase matter transference operator. Then he passed out. This seems good. Uh, this should be the actual game itself. Um, oh, okay, there we go. Um, John Russell has crossed the gap. The gap in time. Only messages has passed before now, but now am man. This person's drunk, I think. They needed him now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions formed the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it, how to assemble bit it, so he made the machine. How, it could also be just be dyslexic. How to transport him bodily across time and now he stood I just think it's probably that they're drunk because they met, they were typing better earlier uh, stood there on the bridge of the star sh the starship Archimedes comma comma and of the vessel because only he who saved the predisnet's life twice before comma e could nah So scary. Helm the knife crew to their destiny. The fate of the galaxy. Ah! Who's making noises? I mean, I guess our parents are here. Sam is outside, supposedly. Sam's not. Sam's out in the storm somewhere. Which is bad. But our parents should be here. Unless they're out looking for Sam. They could be outside looking for Sam. Um, okay, so let's, let's get out of here, um, what are our parents' names again? Jan is the mom, and, possibly, and Greg, I don't know, doesn't matter, I guess. We'll figure it out as we go. Shut up, chair! No! No, close the door! Take that chair. Nobody likes you. Ah, stop making footstep sounds. No, stop making creak sounds. Grab Dad's second book. Okay, yes, yeah, so Dad is a writer. We can find his name here. Terrence L. Greenbrier. Oh yeah, so Terrence is the dad. Terrence and Jan. A message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the 24 hours there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. A James Bond for today's audience. <laughs> it's a compelling a thriller worth its salt. The accidental pariah, Terrence L. Greenboro. I think there's a porno magazine. Gosh, Dad. <laughs> Gentlemen. He just, like, covered it with his books. It seems a bit, like, strangely narcissistic. 
Japan's bloody war on dolphins. <laughs> yes, just like just like uh, Playboy would have stuff like this. Ladies in the ring of the in the ring, the women of wrestling. Moscow by night, drugs, prostitution, the mafia, the new rules of love. Magazine for men, gentlemen. February 1989. Ah, why so much noise? Fresh. Readers tell us about their worst moments. Uh, 9 to 2 Does anybody still care? Nope. The male gaze. How does it hurt it? Sarah Holtz. Not gathering moss. It's true stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Fresh. In the face. Take that, soft face. I don't know. Why is everybody making noise? And creaking. I don't like it. It's freaking me out. Stranger Under My Roof by Elisa Medina, Dr. Elisa Medina. The number one best selling book for parents of teens. Under My Roof. Stranger Under My Roof. Dr. Elisa Medina. A Stranger Under My Roof. Understanding teens. Teen, the teen years are fraught with change of all changes of all change of all types. Changes of all types should be. Physical, mental, uh, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't just affect your teen. The teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenges you face since having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behavior from the very beginning as you know, to he or she first enters adolescence up through the end of the teen years as he or she enters young adulthood. The practical strategies are based upon well-tested principles of pediatric psychology, etc., Blah, blah blah. Never has such a good conversation with my daughter. These simple tools can make all the difference to a relationship with your child. Okay, so trouble at home, trying to communicate with Sam probably. Cause I'm the good one. Nobody thinks I'm bad. What's my name again? Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting. Yeah. What was that? Stop making noises. Oh, that's the password. 0451. Nice. Okay. Uh, regarding the reviews you've been submitting in the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and the non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of, of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood, son of a bitch. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, the man. Reviews editor, home theater, aficionado magazine. What a great guy. Uh, yeah. 0451. Close the folder. It's freaking me out. Those numbers will haunt me forever. Okay, we gotta go to. Oh, we gotta go back to the. Back to the file cabinet into the room with the creepy chair that won't shut up shut up chair and do the file cabinet that has a 0451 there we go dear mr mason please find and close your original document and a type copy of your records the notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important message. matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Kubilik and Wise, Attorneys at Law. We're going to uncover some family secrets now, I think. Will and Testament. One, Oscar Mason, possessing full confidence of mind and, value and memory, and after full surgery survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last Will and Testament. That's weird. The following shall hold true upon my passing. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County and I am unmarried and have no children. 2. 
I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors, living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value. Ah! I wish I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money to cost my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. of Ellis County. Oh, that's, that's my dad. Right. In the event that Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. should predecease me, and then in such event, the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children, that's us, uh, me and Sam, as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my, by my name to this will this 13th day, day of August, 1973. So that might be the house that we're currently lived in. Uh, oh, uh, Oscar Mason is the murder victim, the murder house victim. Sign Oscar Mason. And maybe our dad killed him to get the house. Will and Testament, I ask for Mason possessing full confidence of mind, right? I subscribe my name to this will, this 13th day of August, right now. So okay. Ah! Well, that wasn't very interesting. I thought it was going to be cooler. The secret, I'm at. But I guess it's the beginning. It's the beginning of a unraveling of a puzzle. Uh, okay. So we were in Dad's office, we were in the library. Uh, might as well check out this last room here. Real quick, hopefully. Nope, there's a lot more stuff here. Not gonna be quick. Uh, eraser? Yeah, let's save the video clip.